My name is Yan Wang. I'm the Chinese teacher at Dixie Elementary School in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, this is my seventh year to teach Chinese in this school. For this lesson, uh, I think it went smoothly and we completed all tasks. Mm. When I plan this lesson with Dr. Wu, uh, we hope to include all the five seats in this lesson. I think we did. Um, so we had all three modes of communication in this lesson. We like the kids to answer and ask a question to each other. And they did this interpersonal task um, with unrehearsed, uh, you know, they, they didn't practice before, but they can ask and answer question. And also, they listen to the walkie uh, to do the interpretive task, and they present the play they did to, to express their likes and dislikes about food. About the connection, we make connection with math. Did you see I like them to line up um, what they like to eat, and we can see the body paragraph, uh, the body graph, and to do the connection with math. And also we did a comparison use the hula hoop. I think for the little ones, even the second graders, they still can do comparison. So the hula hoop I used a lot. Uh, when I do the comparison, I use the hula hoops to put together as uh, um, visible so the, the kids, they can see, really can see the comparison. And for the community, I hope after this lesson, when they go home, they can uh, share what they learn with their families. If they go to a Chinese restaurant, they can order food in Chinese. Mm. For the culture, through this lesson, I use all the pictures with authentic uh, materials so the kids can see the Chinese people, they eat food with chopsticks, and they like to eat rice, noodles, and dumplings. Mm. And this lesson, we really want to emphasize the unrehearsed communication. So like the kids to prepare, uh, didn't prepare anything, but they can ask and answer questions to each other. Mm. I think the kids respond to this very well. And in the first half of the lesson, we just do the comprehensible, comprehensible input. So I repeat the words many times, use uh, different colors, different pictures. And then for the second half of the lesson, the kids can, um, can produce their own their own language, you know, the, to, to use what they learned today. Um, I'm really lucky to be in this program, and I hope in the future I can learn more from Dr. Wu from the other teachers too.